Apple's Mixed Reality Headset The Vision Pro has finally been announced, boasting 4K micro OLED technology and a super light form factor. The headset is primarily positioned as an AR headset and can be switched between augmented and full virtual reality just using a dial. And forget controllers, this device is a three-dimensional interface controlled by your hands, eyes and face and even has gesture for your voice as well to open and close apps, play media and enjoy movies with spatial audio. In terms of its chipset, it's using Apple's ultra-fast M2 coupled with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And just to reiterate, in terms of the displays, when I say 4K, it's 4K per eye. And I've got no doubt this is probably going to be the most stunning visuals we've ever had in both VR and XR for the consumer market, without a doubt. In true Apple style, the headset has a glass front and aluminium frame containing five sensors, 12 cameras, and the display and the computer that's apparently cooled with fans. Very, very cool and very, very Apple indeed. Now, my personal opinion, I'm quite surprised by the look of this headset. I guess I just expected it to be a little bit more smaller and sleek in its design profile, and perhaps even more desirable in terms of its uh, aesthetic appearance, shall we say. But, you know, in terms of the software, the OS, which I think is called Vision OS, it's absolutely as slick as you can imagine it to be. And in terms of using it for everyday tasks such as watching films, looking at videos, photographs, you can even blow them up into a 3D dimensional space together with the spatial audio. It'll be almost like reliving the memory in real time. Now, what does this mean for flight simulation? Well, nothing, I'm afraid to tell you. It's not like this headset is going to be used for PC VR. I don't think it even has a link cable or anything like that. Um, but it's something I wanted to show on the channel simply because this is very exciting for Apple to be in the consumer market, especially as this is their first product and they've hit the ground running in terms of the impressive specs. This headset will be hopefully available by early next year for $3,500. Oh my goodness. And even though I've just scratched the surface of this announcement by Apple, I really would like to know what you think in the comments below. But in a nutshell, this is basically a phone for your face. <laughs> That's the way I look at it anyway. Is this something you would pick up even though it's of course hideously expensive? The idea of going to watch a concert or perhaps, you know, a sports event in VR with this kind of technology, I must admit, is very compelling even for me. Thank you so much for watching as always. VR and XR clearly has a very exciting future ahead. I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.